Hello everyone, welcome to my kitchen and welcome to my first ever cookery video. Well, kind of a cookery video. I'm going to do my first ever, which I've seen on YouTube a lot and thought I'd give it a go, a crazy poppin cooking kitchen. If you don't know what that is, keep watching and you'll soon um, find out all about it. Enjoy! So this is what the postman's just delivered all the way from Japan. It took about four weeks to come, ordered from Amazon. Um, and the first one we've got is the sushi kit. You'll recognise some of these. This is one of the more popular ones on YouTube. So there's a sushi kit. The most popular one is the hamburger kit, also known as the Happy Meal. Poor Stephen, I showed him this before and he actually thought it was going to be his lunch. Didn't realise how small they are. And this one, I'm not actually sure what it is, but this one will be quite fun. I've never seen this one before. I think it's the ones where you get the little sort of like plasticine type stuff which is made out of some sort of sugary paste and you can make all these little teddy bears and things so let's get on with it so the first one i'm going to do is the hamburger kit you get two burgers two cheeseburgers some fries which apparently taste like real fries and also a fizzy drink which i think tastes like coca-cola so i've already opened it inside you get the packaging which you just remember to keep because the packaging makes part of the packaging of the food. So you get a french fry container and you get the thing that you put the fries in. You see that? And then you get the packets. I've already opened the packets because I've looked online for the recipe. It's obviously it's in Japanese and we don't speak Japanese. So the brown one is, I think that's the meat that makes the burger. That one makes, I think the bun. You can see this is this could possibly be a disaster. It's that one which is the fries. The blue one is the cheese. Mmm, powdered cheese. Then we've got the ketchup and then we've got the pop. So first instruction is to cut up. Excuse the noise. The first instruction is to cut up the box. So this is the thing that you measure the water with. You need to cut these in half. These are the mixing bowls and the cooking containers. Who needs pans when you've got a plastic box you can cut up? So the first thing we're going to do is make some fries. I'll move those out of the way. This is the thing you make the fries in and use this little scooper. Got some water here. So the one that you make the fries with is this yellow one. So this powder will actually bake French fries. God knows how. Exciting though. Oh, actually it smells like McDonald's fries, it really does. Oh, at first it was horrible, but now it smells quite nice. Mmm. Not that you can see that, but... So, I need to mix it up in this one. And for the fries I need two scoops of water. So oh, it's just like on the TV, isn't it? One scoop, two scoops. It's a little scoopy device and mix it vigorously, I think it says. Well actually it doesn't have just made that bit up. So mix them to a paste. Everyone was saying on YouTube that it takes longer than you'd imagine to mix them in, but let's have a go. Ooh. Oh. You see the consistency? Mmm, yummy. It actually smells a bit like instant mashed potato, which probably that's all it is. Doesn't seem very much of it, mind. I used enough water. What tastes like? Just tastes exactly like instant mashed potato. So 
Maybe I'll just move these out over there. So, I'm not sure if this is looking good or not. I think it is. So then you need to move it into this one, which has got the, the lines in the bottom of the french fries. So you just pop it in there. It's warm. How is it warm? Pop it in there. Uh, then force it down into the bottom because this is what makes the fries there's lines in the bottom of the container and then that's the score lines to cut for your fries or chips as we see in England Needs to go. Ugh. Needs to go in the microwave now. So here we go over to the microwave. Fresh out of the oven. Mm -mm -mm. So this should look like French fries when I tip them out. Oh yes. See the lines. These are the things that we need to cut along with this little stabber knife. It cuts quite easily. I think some people have overcooked them on YouTube, that's why they struggle cutting them, but these are cutting just like French fries. She smells really nice. So next what we need to do is get our packaging. Remember you don't throw this away because you need it. And we're going to make a French fry container. So to make a french fry container you just get the package in, cut this bit out, which I'll do now. I might fast forward this bit because you don't really want to watch me. And here my crinkle cut from the plastic. I'm back again with some scissors that hopefully will cut. French fry wrapper. Ta da! So now if I pop the french fries in there, they've gone a bit funny tape, funny feeling. So I'll pop them in there. Looks just like on the TV, doesn't it? French fries! Slight camera angle change, see if this is any better. Right, next thing I'm going to make is the buns and the meat. Now this one is the meat, I think. Poo. Oh, this doesn't smell... Hmm. Actually it smells nicer the more you smell it. Not that you'd be able to see that it's like the black hole of Calcutta down there. See that? So I need to empty this into here. And then add one cup of water. Stick the water in there and stir the video. Ta da! Ball of dough. Now, what we need to do is get the mould, and this one here has got the burger indentations on the bottom to look like meat. So, we need to pop it in there. Funny the smell, I can't, it's not really bad, but it's not good either, it's kind of, it smells a bit like a pot noodle type thing, which I suppose is what it is, so there's the burger. Now we need to cut, wash this, and then do the bun. Now this little packet of goodness makes two buns, let's see how this works. So smell first. Doesn't really have any smell, which is probably a good thing. So I need two scoops of water. Then mix again. Ooh. It smells a bit like powdered angel delight now. There we go, I think that's right. Mmm, yummy. Now I need to divide this into two. So 
So what I'm making here is two buns. This has been the thing that's prob um, been the most problematic with everybody so far because it doesn't seem to cook properly either. There isn't enough liquid in it or there's too much liquid or when it cooks it comes out rock hard but that's just I suppose it's food from a packet it's hardly going to be fabulous but ooh, it's looking good so far. Quite the master chef, if I say so myself. So I look good. It doesn't seem enough mixture. Right. Now this has to go in the microwave for as a packet gun. 30 seconds, I think, of the microwave. I'm back. It took much longer in the microwave than they said. I think it was 30 seconds. If it was meant to take, it took a bit longer. So I thought, I'll give them a bit longer, see if they rise. Because it was the bread, the bread, ugh, the bread didn't seem to rise. Feels quite sort of. It feels like cake. Oh, here we go. So I've got two buns which I need to cut in half, and a big slab of meat which you can actually cut into four. But I'm just gonna. Oh, feels quite nice. It smells quite nice. So if we cut these in half, where's the knife as supplied? Get this little knife with it. So if I cut the meat. Does anybody actually know what this meat is? Obviously it's not real meat. Does anybody know what it is? If you do, let us know. Mmm. That feels like, it feels like sausage. Mmm. Smells quite nice actually. It does smell yummy. I don't know how I'm going to cut these in half. I might use a proper knife. Or oh, oh, cherry pie used a proper knife. As they're the god of these things. If, if they're allowed to then I feel I'm okay too as well. Hmm, not quite. Oh, I don't know, that's okay, isn't it? Sort of feels like more like cake than bread. It probably is cake because so it's about to be made of a lot of sugar. Ta da! I ain't quite impressed with that. So, next on the list, we need to make some. Should I make the ketchup next? Hmm, this is the ketchup. So here's a little pack of ketchup. I need to put in two cups of water. It's either going to be ketchup or coke, one or the other. I think it's ketchup. Oh no, it smells like coke. Oh no, that one's a ketchup. I've done the wrong one, not to worry. Disaster! Let me pop, pop in there for later. Pretend I haven't done that. Do this little rub out. Right. Anyway, on to the ketchup. It really does smell like tomatoes. It smells like tomato cup of soup. So ketchup. Two scoops. One scoop. Two scoops. Sorry that my hand's in the way in every angle. I'm going to do the next one, I'll have proper lighting and I'll um, put the camera in a better position. The reason why I'm doing it here is it did have good lighting before because it's in the kitchen window. So other than the, the natural, I stay my hand in the way, I'm um, sorry, the um, natural, looks like blood, I had the natural light from outside but now it's dark outside, well it's not dark, it's just dingy. I've got all the kitchen lights on, I've got a desk lamp and I've got a big up light, but I promise I'll get some proper lights for next time. So how does it taste? Oh my god, it just tastes like ketchup. Oh, how bizarre. Oh, I should have done that last actually because I need something to do the cheese in. Um, cut. I'm back right, with the cheese. This is the cheese. I don't know why it's in a blue packet, but... Hey-ho. 
Let's see if it smells of like cheese. Ooh, cheese colour. Oh, this smells like cheesy Watsits. Not sponsored by Watsits, by the way. Ooh, smelly. Now I think I just need one scoop of water for this. Be helpful if you could see some of it. Scoop in there. I've um, used a different vessel. Oh, look at that. I've used a different vessel for this one because either one's full of ketchup. Mm, cheesy. Let's see what it smells like now. It's cooked. Oh, it's horrid. It smells a bit like the French fries. I don't know if it's just the same stuff that's in the French fries, but slightly yellower. cheese. Now what do I have here? See this blue rectangle? I'll put it that way because that's obviously the way it's written. You need to get your cheese. Ooh, it's got all nasty. Stick your cheese on there and now what you need to do is make it into this rectangle shape because, ooh, because it makes two squares of cheese. You know, like that plastic cheese you get in a hamburger so it's kind of similar to that. In fact there's probably more nutrition in the plastic packaging than there is in the cheese. Watching something on TV the other day called How It's Made or How Do They Do It, one of those programs, and they said they can make that plastic, sorry, that processed square cheese that you get in hamburgers, and they're actually allowed to make it with no cheese in at all. So it's meant to be all nice and neat. I'll probably go more for the rustic look. So it's kind of the right size, so I just need to cut it in half. Da, 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 da. Oh dear me. Two bits of cheese. Ooh, that looks alright from the bottom. So I think now we can put our hamburger together. So we need a bottom each. Actually, I'll use a plate. Hang on. I thought we'd be civilised and use a plate. So the first thing we need to do is get two bottoms of burger bun, should I say? Burger bun one, burger bun two. Mm -mm. Some ketchup. Nice and neat. Used to work at McDonald's. Not that you really need to know that. And then, do you think I should put the burger on next? Burger one. Burger two. I might put some ketchup on next. Ketchup one. I do this when I cook it for really no one. I'm not doing it on film for YouTube. I talk in my head through everything I do. So I'll go burger one, burger two. Cheesy one. Looks like one of the more expensive hamburgers where the cheese isn't so processed. Cheese too, put some more ketchup on as well so the bun sticks. Ketchup one, or as we say in England, tomato sauce. Mm mm mm. As Jack would say, mm, beautiful. And then I just need to pop the tops on. I'm quite impressed with this. So we've got two burgers. Actually, I'm really impressed. Let me take a photograph. Two burgers, and what needs to go with burgers to make it a, a nice fast food meal? Some fries. Doesn't that look good? And then the next thing is we need to make the soda. Remember the packaging that you need to keep this little wrapper you stick onto the soda cup to make it look like it's themed, so I'll just cut this out now. And I'll come up with these ideas for making these funny little kits. There's dozens of them. If you look on YouTube for um, pop and cooking, there's millions of them. This kit I'm doing here is probably the most popular one. This was the first one I ever saw, but there's somebody called RR Cherry Pipes, and they're sort of the, the leaders of it, and they do them, all of them, but it, they only do it in Japanese and they don't talk through it. And nobody knows who RR Cherry Pie is either, so it's a bit of a mystery. So I'll get a bit of cell tape. Sorry, sticky tape. Not sponsored by cell tape products. And then I'll stick that on there, and I'll just trim this off. Could be tidy in the kitchen. 
Oh, do you have a hand? Oh, it's all going wrong. Ta 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 ta. Now I need to put some water in. Now I should have really put the. Done it the other way around, but because I've, I've done it cack handed, I'll be putting the water in now, spoon at a time. Apparently, fizz is like real pop. This might take a while, I might fast forward this bit. Bear with us. Hey, look at it, it's fizzing up. Take a magic pop. Give this to because I don't know if that's just bubbles. Can you hear the gritty powder? Sorry, I'll move my hand out of the way. That's you don't really want to see the back of my hand. Put a little bit more water in. Ooh, ooh, dear me! Just tastes like very, very sugary pop. It tastes quite nice though. See that there? It's my terrible lighting. And there, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. We have the pop and cooking made by a company called Crazy Hamburger Kit. Mm -mm. Sorry, I forgot the final detail. Every burger has a flag. Let's see how this goes in. Oh, really easily. I was expecting it to crack the bun, but the buns are cooked to perfection. Mm -mm -mm. There we go. Final look. Well, he has a moment of truth. I've just given Stephen the first taste of it. Um, so it's fair to say he thought it was a bit not very pleasant. He actually ended up spitting it out, but um, I'm sure it's not that bad. So I'm going to start off with a French fry. Mm -mm -mm, look how cute these things are. Mm, no, it's not going to focus. How did they come up with things like this? So the French fries kind of look and feel a bit like French fries because they're quite greasy. Oh, all it is is instant mashed potato microwaved, and that's 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 literally all it is. But it's pretty hard. It absolutely is just instant mashed potato. So now we'll wash it down with a little glass of pop, some coke. It's very, 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 very not Coke flavour. Not sponsored by Coke. Not Coke flavour. Tastes like, tastes like pop. I suppose it is just it's a powdery in the bottom. It is just pop. But it's not awful. It's quite nice actually. Tastes like something else but not Coke. And here's the burger. This was the thing Stephen thought was the worst. In fact, this is the one he had before. He's ended up eating half of it and throwing the rest down the toilet. So here's my burger. Moment of truth. Four weeks of, oh it's got like jam, four weeks of waiting from Japan after watching people on YouTube make them time and time again, Let's see what mine looks like. It's quite exciting. It smells like tomato. Oh. I've eaten worse. Let's see what the cheese tastes like on its own. Pretty nasty. I'll try them all separately. So there's a bit of the bread. So I'm sure it's cake. Oh, that's pretty rancid. Ugh. Oh, the meat, which has some cheese on it as well. I'm trying to smell it. It actually tastes like just tastes like hamburger. It tastes like cheap, cheap, cheap hamburger. I'm not eating that other bit of bread. But what I'll do, I'll wash it down with some more thoder, as pop as we call it here. <sighs> Actually, this is quite nice. I wonder what the pop is. I wonder if you can buy it. So anyway, that's the, the candy. No, it's not the candy. That's something else. This is the hamburger. I'll show you the front of the packaging. The hamburger kit from Casey Pop and Cooking. Pop and Cooking. Um, as ordered on Amazon, if anybody wants one of these kits, Amazon have loads of them. Delivery is forever, but if you just order it and then kind of 
put it to one side and forget about it, you'll be fine. This took about three to four weeks. It was just a coincidence. I called the postman this morning, so I managed to not have it sent to the, the post office. They're, they're, they're quite cheap. They're only about £3.50, and the, po the postage was free, so I ended up getting three. There's two other ones which I'll review next time, and I'll wait until I've got better lighting for that one. Um, so they're quite, quite good fun. It took about 20 minutes to make, probably five minutes if you didn't have to faff on with the camera and the lighting and stuff. So if you just made them at all, it would take about five minutes to make. Definitely good fun. I'm sure there's not much nutrition in them, but um, it's, it's more like a, just a novelty than actually proper food. But I think everyone should give one a go or just watch a video and see how you, how you get on with them. But you've already watched my video, so I've saved you £3.50. So until next time, and I'll be reviewing another, I'll try not to move as much, I'll be reviewing um, the other two candy kits. One is the, one makes jelly bears, and one is the sushi kit. I'm really looking forward to the sushi kit, because that's the one where you drop the little droplets of sushi and it turns into balls, so that's going to be good fun. So until next time, see you soon.